Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, September 17th, 2020. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. The big news yesterday was that a grand jury has indicted 15 suspected gang members who the Anne Arundel County Police have said were running a drug and sex trafficking ring out of a Brooklyn Park hotel for months. The ringleaders, David Brown of Baltimore and Michael Copeland of Glen Burnie, were living and working out of an entire floor of the Comfort Inn and Suites in Brooklyn. The investigation got underway back in May of 2019. Detectives witnessed Brown and Copeland buying and selling drugs, and police did learn that some of the fatal overdoses in the county were a result of drugs sold by the gang. The police did try to make undercover drug buys, but they ran into a problem when Brown insisted that if he did not know a customer personally, that they had to use drugs in his presence. In addition to the drug sales, he forced women to engage in sex trafficking in exchange for drugs and hotel rooms. And he also had hotel employees reporting to them, warning them of any suspicious activities, guests who appeared to be law enforcement or members of a rival gang or any police presence in or around the hotel. Police did seize two assault rifles, seven handguns, eight vehicles, 502 grams of crack cocaine, 119 grams of powder cocaine, more than 3,000 grams of marijuana, more than 200 grams of heroin or fentanyl, 38 grams of MDMA molly, 1,316 grams of meth, and 13 strips of Suboxone. In addition, they seized $27,000 in cash. In addition to David Brown and Michael Copeland, they arrested Antoine Crockett of Windsor Mill, Troy Dunnigan of Glen Burnie, Charles Edwards of Baltimore, Antoine Folks of Pasadena, Vernon Harris of Reiserstown, Patrick Hines of Arbutus, Justin Jess of Glen Burnie, Lawrence Jones of Baltimore, Lawrence Matthews of Baltimore, Michael Rebstock of Baltimore, Derek Ricks of Baltimore, William Shipley of Baltimore, and Andrew Tillman of Rosedale. Good to have those 15 off the street for sure. This next story serves two purposes. It's a heads up for drivers in Annapolis on Saturday and is also a heads up if you would like to participate. On Saturday morning, starting at 10 a.m. at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium, the United Black Clergy of Anne Arundel County, the Anne Arundel County NAACP, and the Caucus of African American Leaders are going to be having a peaceful protest against racism called the 1,000 Men March. It is going to step off from Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium at 10 a.m. It's going to stop at the District Court on Rao Boulevard for a moment of prayer. They will march down Rao Boulevard to the People's Park, which is at Calvert and Clay Street, for a prayer session, which will last about 10 minutes. They will continue on Calvert to West, take West down into Church Circle, and then down Main Street into Susan Campbell Park. That will be going against the flow of traffic. At Susan Campbell Park, there will be a series of speakers, and the event is expected to end by 2 p.m., To deal with all of this, the Annapolis Police Department will have rolling street closures beginning at 10 a.m., so you just want to be warned on that. And the city of Annapolis also wanted everyone to make sure that they were aware that this event is not a city-sponsored event, and it is a First Amendment march, so organizers do not need any types of permits or incur any types of cost. All right, we've heard about Annapolis Restaurant Week in February and March, but have you heard about Maryland Restaurant Week? Probably not, because this is the first year that they are doing it, trying to jumpstart our friends in the restaurant business. It gets underway this Friday, September 18th, and goes through Sunday, September 27th. And unlike the typical restaurant weeks, this one's put on by the Restaurant Association of Maryland, and they're bringing all counties and all restaurants together for a week-long effort to help support the dining industry. There's no course requirements, no price fixed menus, no cost to play or anything like that. The restaurants are offering special menus, discounts, seasonal fare, etc. And locally here in Anne Arundel County, the restaurants that will be participating are in alphabetical order mostly. Brian Baru, Buddy's Crabs and Ribs, Elvation Burger, Galway Bay, Killarney House, McGarvey's, Middleton, Pirate's Cove, Ramshead Tavern, Ramshead Dockside, Ramshead Roadhouse, Ruth's Chris. Sam's on the Waterfront, Romano's Bar and Grill, Squizzito's Pizza, Pasta, and more, The Breakfast Shop, The Grill at Quarterfield Station, Yellowfin, and The Office Bar and Grill, and The Rumor Meal. 
Those last two are up in Pasadena, and I want to go visit them because I like their name. And also, just to be clear, Romano's Bar and Grill is up in Glen Burnie. It is not the Romano's Macaroni Grill at the Annapolis Mall because that one has closed. If you're interested in dining about around the state, head on over to MarylandRestaurantWeek.com, and you can search out all the restaurants that are participating all over the state. Another date for you to put on your calendar on Saturday, September 26th, Patriot Point will be bringing home a take-home shrimp feast to benefit Patriot Point, and that's going to happen at the Pitt Moyer Rec Center. You'll be able to drive through and pick up a freshly prepared shrimp feast for one. It's $25 if you pre-order, $30 the day of. And included in your feast is a pound of large North Carolina shrimp, homemade potato salad, a fresh ear of corn, a mini loaf of cornbread, two homemade cookies, cocktail sauce, and a Maryland lottery scratch-off ticket. So you could be the next millionaire. Pre-order, find out more. You want to go to patriotpoint.org slash shrimp feast. And Patriot Point is a retreat for our nation's wounded, ill, and injured service members and their families to enjoy outdoor recreational activities while they are recovering. It is over on the Eastern Shore, and they are associated with the Military Bowl. So doing lots of good things. Oh, and speaking of the Military Bowl, it does appear that it is going to be played. They're not sure of the date. They're not sure what the fan situation will be. But I spoke with somebody there yesterday, and that's the scoop on that. Finally, as we wrap it up, I just want to brag a little bit. Every now and then, I'll tell you about the chart rankings of the Daily News Brief, and we have climbed in them again this week. We are now the number 86th Daily News podcast ranked in the United States. So that's really impressive. I think that's the highest that we've ever gotten to. And what else is really kind of impressive, well, at least to me, is that Ranking among news podcasts in the United States, not just daily news, but all news podcasts in the United States, we rank number 258th. And globally, we rank 379th. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, that does wrap it up for the news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day for updates to these stories and more. If you can leave us a rating or a review someplace, please do that. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know how to get a hold of us. It is Thursday, so we do have your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes with Trevor, and I am not going to forget him this week. And as we have every day, we have George Young with your local DCMDVA weather forecast. All of that's coming up after this brief message from solar energy services. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010 and it's been paid off for almost five years and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA Weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, September 17th. Yesterday was a bit clearer than Tuesday, despite some lingering haze from western wildfire smoke that is still many thousands of feet above the DMV region. But today's skies will be grayed out more from clouds than anything else, with some rain possible in the PM hours. And rain chances will linger into Friday as another cold front moves through from the west, with breezy highs Friday only near 70 degrees across Anne Arundel County, all setting the stage for a multi-day period of very nice weather from Saturday through at least next Wednesday, with the weekend bringing tons of sunshine and highs in the 65 to 70 degree range, with AM lows each day in the mid-40s to lower 50s, with continued sunshine in 60s Monday before sunny 70s return Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Store. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day at dcmdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. The Anne Arundel Economic Development Corporation wants to remind you that amid this global coronavirus pandemic, we've got to band together and care for those around us, support our community and the businesses that have worked so hard to safely reopen. So show some love for the shops selling the stuff that we can't get anywhere else and the restaurants that sell food that's even better than home. And remember that the money that we spend here can keep Anne Arundel County strong. And by wearing masks and social distancing, we can keep workers safe and businesses open. So for our neighborhood, for our town, for our county, shop safe, shop local, shop Arundel Biz. Visit ArundelBiz.org. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor with Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Today, check out a virtual lecture series, An Introduction to 18th Century Furniture and Its Construction, presented by Tony Lovett, 18th Century Cabinet Maker and Proprietor of Charlestown Woodworks. Starting on Sunday and running all next week, it's time for Paint Annapolis again. Paint Annapolis is a multi-day juried plein air painting competition that brings plein air artists from all around the world. At Wine and Design in Annapolis, they still have a bunch of take-home kits and online classes. This week, they're featuring Sammy Sloth, Feel and Witchy, and Sunset Lighthouse, but also check out their in-studio Autumn and Trees and Fall class tomorrow night, as well as their on-demand and DIY You Choose classes, where you can choose from a selection of different paintings. On the Annapolis Music Facebook group, previously Annapolis Streaming, this morning, check out Boogie Babes present Guava Jelly on Facebook Live, and tonight, check out Dublin Five's Halfway to St. Patrick's Day live stream from Union Jacks, as well as Gaelic Storm live streaming from Ramsay Tavern. Tomorrow, Larry Lay has a live stream from Middleton Tavern, as well as the Ken and Brad Colin Nerd Trio, streaming live from the mainstay in Rock Hall. And lastly, tomorrow night, check out Wine Tasting Basics with DMV and Capital Wine School, live streamed on Facebook. And also be sure to check out Jimmy's Chicken Shack's fourth live stream from their studio in Baltimore on Saturday. The Chesapeake Children's Museum is now open to members only, by appointment. They're also selling face masks for kids, and have activities for Girl Scouts via Zoom, and are working on some other things as well. At Art Farm in Annapolis, Saturday they have an outdoor mini art and improv camp for ages 7 through 10. Give yourself a break and drop the kids off every other Saturday this fall for a three-hour mini art camp for kids. This Saturday, the kids will be doing art, as well as improv, with Reflex Improv's Dan Brown. On Tuesday at Art Farm, they have a graphic design class. Students will learn the fundamentals of design from color theory and font choices to branding, and much more. On Wednesday, there's a virtual drawing class with Kat Dulch for kids 10 through 15. This eight-week virtual class will have students working their way through various drawing skills, including nature elements, proportion, and perspective, faces and self-portrait, shading, texture, and more, using pencils, charcoal, and watercolor. At the Benjamin Banneker Museum in Park in Ellicott City, tomorrow they're doing Look Up, What Do You See? Checking out constellations using your naked eye or binoculars in this friendly astronomy program. On Saturday morning, they're doing nature journaling, learn to observe nature through drawing and writing. Also Saturday morning is family outdoors, exploring bees, talking about the important job bees perform in Banneker's Orchard. Saturday afternoon, check out Nature's Medicine Cabinet, late summer teas and remedies, as well as cooking in the cabin, exploring early American cooking with their culinary historians. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, they have a whole bunch of Facebook Live story times on weekdays, including a family pajama story time. Today, there'll be an intro to calligraphy class, as well as Zoom bingo, and an intro to digital library resources for at-home learners. Tomorrow, the Great Movies Group will be doing something different. Check out Restoration, Preservation, and Distribution of Movies during a Pandemic with Eddie Muller, host of the Turner Classic Movies, Noir Alley. On Monday, there's a repeat of the groundwater approach, building a practical understanding of structural racism, as well as the Maryland City at Russet Needlecraft Social, and help your child become a better reader. On Tuesday, there's a virtual celebration with 123 Andreas Bilingual Family Beats, as well as intro to e-learning resources at the library, including Rosetta Stone, Linda, Udemy, and live tutoring from BrainFuse. On Wednesday, check out SoCo Cafe, back-to-school virtual training for parents and families, as well as an online Lego challenge, intro to library ebooks and streaming, collaborative poetry club, and let's cook Latin virtually, exploring the art and joy of cooking Hispanic food with Caliente Grill. Unallocated Space in Severn is doing another virtual online happy hour tonight, and then tomorrow they're doing a virtual amateur radio night. Everyone is welcome to join, whether you have your amateur radio license or not. And at Annapolis Makerspace this week, on Tuesday we have our monthly general meeting, where we'll talk a little bit of shop business and see what everyone's been working on. If you have any questions about Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at 
and you'll be able to find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website at makeannapolis.org as well. And remember, whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.